Well, and even more than that, I mean, I mentioned even in this uh, office, you know, the same processes are there. We've done research showing that ACT and the processes that underlie it can help things like can secretaries learn new software, can therapists learn new methods. What about stigma and prejudice between people? Uh, so it isn't just in the psychotherapy areas. And uh, why that would be, as an empirical fact, there's a, a pretty enormous breadth uh, to these uh, methods. And the, why that would be, because everywhere that a human mind goes, these processes of avoiding the world within in order to try to regulate your behavior, or becoming entangled in your thoughts, interfering with your ability to uh, take advantage of, of what's around you, or losing contact with your values for fear that you'll know more about the places where you hurt. Uh, those kinds of processes are just normal psychological processes that are built into language and cognition itself. They're built into problem solving. And so if you take the mode of mind that works great in 95% of your life and apply it within, it then uh, implodes. It, it uh, starts creating barriers, and that's true at work, it's true in our organizations, it's true in our culture, true in our politics, and yeah, it's true in our consulting rooms. So we're going, the reason why it spreads out, we have pretty good evidence for this, I know it sounds a little grandiose, but the mental cognitive processes that we're targeting are ones that narrow human beings' repertoire and make it harder for them to learn, to be more flexible, to take advantage of the opportunities in front of them. And we think that's uh, uh, something we can have uh, something to say about and something to help with in all of these different areas. Maybe even in areas like child development or organizations and schools or maybe even things like prevention or how peoples interact with each other, one to the other. So we've taken the work, for example, into things like prejudice and stigma because in the modern world, if we can't solve that, we have planes flying into buildings and then we have planes flying over countries. You know, uh, the, the amount of uh, hate and objectification and dehumanization that's on the planet isn't something we can uh, tolerate anymore in a world in, that's coming of suitcase bombs and the ability to amplify that hate out into harm towards each other. So um, it, it applies broadly because anywhere that a human mind goes, these processes go.